Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can use Sonico Study to transform your ICT classroom into a managed learning environment. With Sonico Study, I have a list of functions here which will help ensure that students stay on track and that the teacher can work directly and engage with these students. Under PC Control, I have many functions available and all of these functions are available for individual students, for groups, and also for the whole class. Under screen control, first of all, I can get a thumbnail view of what's happening on my students' screens. I can set this thumbnail to refresh at 5 to 10 seconds, depending on our bandwidth. I can then go on to con PC control. In the morning, I can switch on all student PCs using this function. At the end of the day, I can shut down all operations. If I see that students are doing things that they shouldn't, or if I want to just get attention, I can lock PCs, and then all the screens will turn black, the keyboards become inactive, and the mouse becomes inactive as well. Uh, in this case, the student can no longer do anything on their computer. I also have the option to simply lock the screen in this case. Now the student will still have control over their mouse and keyboard, but their screen is blank and they cannot open any programs themselves. So here I will launch programs for them. In this case, I will launch here a program, which will then start momentarily on the student computers, and now they can work with that program until I'm ready to stop it, and in this case I will simply close the program again, and then the student can no longer work with that. In this case, I'm always in control and making sure that the students stay on task. I will close that again. Now, moving forward, I also have the ability to simply block applications from the student. Uh, if students are not supposed to be working with specific applications, for example, calculator, uh, or specific games, um, anything of this nature, I can simply click on that, prevent it, and it will no longer be accessible for the student. And I can save lists uh, and, and restore them whenever I want. I can also allow specific applications to be used and only those applications will be available to the students. And again, I can do this for all students, for my groups, or for specific students. Okay, going further then, I also have the ability to disable the internet and in that case, I will block all ports and all programs so the students have no access to the internet. So those are some functions that should help you as a teacher to keep in control and make sure the students are on track. Thank you.